Good evening everyone, this is Eugene from ET Reviews and tonight I will be talking about a Frankenstein spinner um, that I kind of worked up and conjured um, out of parts really. Um, the main body is the Zik Hollow by Yardworks. Um, when I first saw the actual spinner itself I knew I needed to get it and it was pretty much always sold out. Um, I've had this spinner for a while now, um, just really haven't perfected the whole video review thing, so I really wanted to share this on a video review. Um, so, Yardworks, uh, as a spinner, uh, company, um, uses, I think, 608 or 60, yeah, 608 bearings, um, in their spinners. So when I first got this spinner, uh, it wasn't it wasn't very satisfying uh, to spin this uh, spinner. I, I I felt like it, it came with the standard 608 bearings with uh, plastic buttons, and the buttons kept falling out. Um, I was I tried to work with um, the owner, um, I believe Nanny. Um, I wasn't too happy with the stock bearing that came along with it, but I didn't really care and I knew what I was going to do with this particular spinner to begin with and it was the fact that there was no Kong um, available uh, by Fidget HQ. So I've seen a version of this out there that somebody took out the bearing and slipped a 608 to 188 adapter in here or you could slip in a Kong in here as well uh, So I got my hands on a Kong and I was actually able to remove the uh, Bearing that came stock with the Zik hollow um, I soaked it in alcohol for a little bit and then actually for a couple hours and then I took a blow dryer with warm heat and Spent prob blew on it for probably for about 10 minutes or so and the bear uh, the 608 bearing kind of just slipped right out um, I had to apply some force to it but other than that uh, it came out fine so as you can see now in here I actually do have a Kong a stainless steel Kong um, you can tell by the little grooves in the center part right here um, any 608 to 188 adapter should fit in the little gap left by uh, the 608 bearing. Um, so right now it is not held together by anything other, other than uh, pressure. I have not put any Loctite on there to seal on this. Um, I still haven't found the configuration that I do like between the Kong uh, adapter or the button itself. So buttons are easy to switch out. Um, but I will show you guys what I have in there um, as a spinner. So I put in a Kong um, in here and I actually stuck a one drop bearing in here as well. Um, this combination has is mind blowing. Um, in all honesty, um, I've had I've shown this spinner to uh, a few people and they have all marveled at how smooth it actually is. Uh, based on the weight, um, the design of the spinner, and the bearing itself, everything about about this little Frankenstein of a spinner. Um, as you can see, the warp looks really, really cool, even just under regular uh, uh, desk lamp light. I haven't really done anything with this under the sun yet, um, but one comment that I actually heard was that, well, I'm not sure what to do with this spinner. I can see it spinning, but I cannot feel anything. And that's what's so crazy about this this configuration that I have right now. And I can actually say the same thing too. Um, if you held tight and it finds its axis, you cannot feel the spinner spinning, which is super cool to me. Um, it might be a combination of the the weight and design of the body along with the adapter and the one drop bearing being in here um 
overall, I really, really like this design of the body to begin with. Uh, kudos to uh, Yardworks um, over at yardworks.bigcartel.com. Um, I will include a description or a link to the website um, in the review itself. Um, other than that, uh, I guess I can show you guys that this truly is press fit. Um, and just a quick push. And this is technically what it looks like. I have an attached Kong to it. And the gap left by the Kong. It really is a matter of press fitting. Uh, some people might get worried about the scratches, but because both are stainless steel, uh, I'm not too worried about it either way. There might be a con uh, balancing issue in, in which you might have to spend some time trying to find the perfect balance, but other than that, it fits perfectly fine. You don't really need to add Loctite to it. Um, but overall, it it's easy to change out the adapter. If you have a brass adapter, a black one, a rainbow one, whatever you feel to make this look um, better or customize it to your own liking. Um, I believe the original Zik Hollow is $45 there about, um, US dollars. Um, so it is my understanding that most of his spinners um, come with a 608 bearing which might be undesirable in today's market so take that uh, keep that in mind as you look through and browse through his uh, it, the spinners on the website but most of them can be made better um, or made to utilize the R188 bearing um, if you plug an adapter in there like I have um, as far as fidgetability goes on this spinner um, it's not the best, but it's not the whole point of this spinner to begin with. Um, this functions really well as a spinner in and of itself. Um, the one tiny complaint that I have is the hot spot located in this little crevice uh, here. Um, if you are a flicker oh, during one-handed operation, like I am, um, you can see that your finger kind of sets into here, and that creates a tiny bit of a hot spot. This is truly the only downside that I have found with this spinner. Other than that, my mind is completely blown by this spinner in this configuration. Um, I truly enjoy this spinner. Um, it is beautiful, and I do rank it really, really highly. Um, my interaction with uh, Danny was not very stellar, but it was limited to a few email exchanges, and that was about it. Um, I will say that this is still a quality product. Um, I do enjoy everything about this, and I do recommend this as a spinner um, in this current configuration. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys have found this review helpful, and feel free to leave me questions or comments, and I will try my best to answer them. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and have a great day.